Yes, we did post quite a few videos this year. But the real question is, what did we actually learn together? And what are we going to explore in 2026? And even more importantly, what would we want to see next year? I get a lot of comments with specific needs or tied to specific projects, and I get that and I love it. It's great. But remember guys, this is a channel for everyone. So it would be great to have like more general requests that will benefit for the entire community. And I really try to pay attention to those kind of asks and try to adapt my content as well. So that's why I really love to see your comments under this video and feedback to know what we want to see next year in a general way. So let me know. Back to the video, Unreal Engine is clearly going to keep pushing animation and rigging furthermore in 2026. And speaking of that, for the very first video of the year, I'm preparing something special that you've all been asking for. My complete character creation from ZBrush down to animation and render in Unreal Engine. With all the little steps and crispy tips you want to know. And for that, I'm using one of the best characters I really, really love. Really famous in the uh, TV cartoon French story, Bud from Les Uns and L'Espace. All the Frenchies will probably recognize him, and even the non frenchies one. But first, let's rewind a bit and check out all the animation and rigging tools, workflows, and more recovered this year. One of the biggest highlights was definitely Agora Studio, who released two awesome packs completely free and fully available for all of us. In terms of animation, that was huge this year. I made a full video about the Pro Animation project in Unreal Engine 5.7, covering everything you need to know. Layouts, lighting, custom tools, rigging with modular control rig and brand new modules, and of course, animation using sequencer and subsequences, all done at a professional level. You really get access to production insight and tips that are usually hard to find. Honestly, I would have loved to have this kind of resource when I first started my journey as a 3D artist. Staying on animation, there's another video on the channel that I really want to mention. It's technically from the end of last year, but it's incredibly relevant. Mastering animation workflow in Unreal Engine 5 got through all the key steps and workflows you need to know, not just for animation, but also for rigging, including layer control rig, and how to use it properly. It's a great way to really understand how all these tools fit together when animating in Unreal, so if you haven't seen it yet, definitely check it out. Then during 2025, Unreal Engine 5.6 landed, and that was a big milestone for animation, especially for linear content. In the video why you should fully animate in Unreal Engine, I go deeper into animation workflows, tools you should know, and all the new things introduced in 5.6. There's a lot there, and it's really worth taking the time to digest everything that was released around that version. I also covered even more with the Unreal Engine 5.6 is here video, where I talk about features like Quick Render and the Media Viewer plugin, all aimed at speeding up and improving your day-to-day -day workflow. Of course, before animation comes something absolutely essential, rigging. Without it, no animation at all. And on this channel, you'll find everything you need to understand the Unreal way of rigging with Control Rig, from very simple setups to more advanced workflows and techniques. And if I had to pick the biggest hit this year, it will definitely be Control Rig Physics. Bringing the physics engine directly into Control Rig, fully not based, is a game changer. You can control, expose and tweak everything in a way that's much more animator friendly and it opens up so many possibilities. I'm honestly a huge fan of this feature and I can't recommend enough that you dive into it. The new Control Rig Physics video with our buddy Patrick introduces a reusable function you can plug into pretty much any project to add physics to a bone chain. And going even further, the more recent Physics Anim video shows how to apply physics on top of an already existing animation using Layout Control Rig, and explores a lot of powerful workflows around that. That's just a highlight of 2025 when it comes to rigging, but I've actually put together a complete Unreal Animation and Control Rig playlist that gathers all the video related to this topic. From simple Control Rig setups to specific use cases, to full animation workflows and tools, you'll find everything you need to truly master Unreal Engine animation. And to go even deeper, I also created the Rigid playlist. Throughout the year, this series dives into very specific rigging challenges. Mastering control rig is one thing, but tackling a precise rig setup is another. And that's exactly why this playlist exists. This year, we covered eye setups and depth, from the eyeboard system to blend shapes and module driven blend shapes, featuring our dear buddy, a minion. More recently, we also explored a simple yet effective reverse foot setup, on some pretty nice looking feet, as you can see here. 2025 also introduced a brand new node that opens the door to a new approach to procedural animation, Locomotor. 
the procedural animation video with Thing walks you through the full control rig setup to implement this powerful system in a straightforward way. And yes, in 2026, let's try to build the controller-based version of it. I mentioned the animation and controlling playlist earlier, and to be more specific, there are a few videos I highly recommend. Space switching is a really important one, as it works differently compared to traditional setups in other DCCs. No complex rig logic is required in control rig. Animators can manage their spaces in just a few clicks. Switching from local to world space without breaking the animation has never been easier. On top of that, the Constraints toolset was updated in Unreal Engine 5.7. I covered it up in depth back in 5.6, and that video is still extremely relevant. Everything you need to know to set it up properly and leverage it for animation is explained there. Beyond brick logic, we also covered animation workflows related to UI and workspace organization in Unreal. The Animation Workspace and UI Setup video helps you master dual viewports, UI elements, and most importantly, camera management. Going even deeper into topics that often come up when rigging and animating in Unreal, we tackle FKIK switching and pole vectors. The FKIK switch video shows the complete control rig setup for a switch that works seamlessly in Sequencer, and it's surprisingly easy to implement compared to many other DCCs. For pole vector, the smart pole vector video covers an advanced setup using an already built-in function, giving you a clean and robust solution. If you really want to push things further, there's also an advanced video focused on procedural control rigging using smart functions to automate the creation of IK solvers on the bone chain. This is where control rig truly shines and where smart rigging starts to make a real difference. I also wanted to address common issues you might encounter when importing data from other DCCs, especially Blender. The Easy Rig Import video is here if you're struggling with bringing a Blender rig into Unreal. Born hierarchy, scale, export settings, everything is covered. The same goes for rig fixing, where I tackle the infamous Mixamo root bones issue. And finally, in 2025, we didn't only talk about animation and rigging, we also explored a bit of FX and world building. Oscar became the bridge between animation, rigging and FX, especially through fur. You really love this little guy, and I can't thank you enough for the supports and enthusiasm you showed. Trust me, he is very happy. Coming back to animation to wrap things up, Oscar also helped you master the animation picker through an editor utility widget in the Anim Picker tutorial, a super useful tool for any animator working in Unreal. Best Water Solutions was a hit last year, so in 2025, I wanted to do the same with FireFX. From Niagara to plugins and VDBs, I show you the different workflows to manage fire effects in Unreal. The last video of 2025 is another FX one, covering a simple but effective snow Niagara system with collision and event handlers. Super useful and fun to explore. This year also brings Unreal Engine 5.7, including the new procedural foliage system, which allows you to create tree and bush variants like never before. I explored this tool in depth, even experimenting with controlling physics in it. 5.7 also brings huge improvement to MetaHuman, and I went in depth with Stylus characters featuring Mr. Incredible. Thanks to the new Maya plugin, tweaking Stylus MetaHuman's rig is now much easier. A lot of new features and improvements arrived in 5.7 regarding rigging, all covered in the Control Rig 5.7 new features video. Debugging tools, quality of life improvements, and more. Regarding animation, your favorite topic, this new version introduces selection sets, enabling animators to manage and display control sets in the easiest way possible. Everything is explained in the dedicated video. Finally, to learn more about all the new 5.7 features, there's a video highlighting the coolest additions in this version. Of course, we didn't cover every single video from 2025, but I wanted to highlight the key ones to help guide your learning process. In 2026, we go even deeper into advanced Unreal Engine workflows, always keeping production in mind, but I also continue creating beginner-friendly content. There are always new people joining the journey, and we want to help them just like we wished we were helped when we started. The goal of this channel is to help studios, professionals, freelancers, animators, riggers, tech artists, and anyone transitioning to Unwell adopt it efficiently and confidently. On that note, I wish you all a Merry Christmas and a wonderful holiday season. Don't forget to hit the bell so you won't miss the first video of the year coming January 6th. And for those of you who watch every Tuesday but are not subscribed, 
Come on. It's like playing a game, collecting all the loots, but never opening the treasure chests. Don't miss out and hit that subscribe button. Ciao guys, see you next year and for real this time. Ciao.